Hello everyone. Okay, we are working on bag two. Uh, we are now on uh, uh, step nine, and step nine required one flat, two prong light gray piece, and it required uh, two ten prong uh, light bricks. So uh, what's going to happen is we're going to take the on each side the uh, light. Uh, it's the uh, we're going to put these ten prong bricks uh, lining the, uh, the bottom of the L-shaped brick. Uh, on the left side, we're going at the very end here. We're going to put this flat uh, light gray piece. And on the other side, nothing. We do nothing except, you know, line it with that. That concludes step nine. Step ten. We need two of these flat gray uh, two by six uh, pieces, and they are going to line the very bottom here. Uh, hold on, folks. My mom's calling me. Okay, folks. Uh, sorry for the interruption. My mom wanted to show me a video of the Bee Gees when they were kids. So, uh, boy, is that a shocker. Um, anyway, uh, we had just gotten done with step 10, and step 10 took these uh, flat, dark gray pieces of 2 by 6 and we put them on each side, connecting them with the, the hangover of the uh, longer piece. So that was step 10. Okay, now step 11, we need uh, two light gray 2 by 3 bricks. We need one 3 prong light gray brick. And we need this uh, kind of coat hanger type dark black brick. Okay, so uh, the coat hanger uh, uh, black brick is going to go uh, at the bottom uh, under that two prong uh, flat light gray brick right there. Um, whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so like that. Um, and then um, the three prong brick will be going right here. On the other side, we'll be using the six prong thick, and it's going to go there. And then the other one is going to go um, this way. So it looks like that. All right. That concludes step 11. Step 12, we need uh, two of these light colored four, flat four prong uh, bricks, square bricks, and then the remaining two by three uh, light gray brick. And um, Okay, so both of the um, tannish bricks, uh, square bricks, are going to go one on top of the other on that little square that was made with the light gray two-prong brick and that black uh, two-prong brick, and so it looks like so. On the other, well, what are we doing? With, oh, okay, never mind that. All the work this time is on the left side. And then we're going to take this uh, light gray brick and we're going to put it right there. So it looks like so. And that concludes uh, step 12. Okay, step 13. We're going to need two of these bricks. And we're going to need two of these uh, four by six flat dark gray bricks. So uh, the four by six dark gray 
is we're going back over the top. They're going to be lining this pit here, so like so. And then um, these plates are going to go on and line this side. So it looks like so. That concludes step 13. Step 14. Um, we're going to need uh, one of these little uh, four by four flat dark matrix. We're going to need two of these smooth uh, bricks, uh, have kind of three prongs on uh, the other side. And then we're going to need that little skull that was left over that we didn't use to build the skeleton. So uh, the smooths uh, parts are going to go and line these prongs here. And then we're going to put the, uh, this piece to cover that hole there. And oddly enough, it does work. There's apparently a little bit of, uh, there's nothing to click it to, but it, uh, I guess there's little walls or something that are supporting it on the inside there. And then we're going to put this little skull thing right there. Okie dokie. So that concludes step 14. Step 15. We're going to need the remaining two of these uh, of, uh, 6 by, uh, was it 12? Yeah, 6 by 12 pieces. And they're going to be going on the sides here. So we're pretty much just uh, filling in the base. Some of these feel sometimes, sometimes just a little bit warped. They, they can be kind of hard. That concludes step 15. Step 16. We're going to put a waste basket on the left side. Uh, it's going to go about four or five, about count five up. One, two, three, four, five, and then one over. So it's going to be like there. So a little waste basket. And then we're going to put the little uh, uh, chicken bone here that we get inside the waste basket. All right, and that, uh, oh, no, 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 that doesn't include anything. Oh, I guess the skull, oh, I put the skull in the wrong place, apparently. It, did I? Oh, okay, folks, you know what? I actually put the skull in the wrong place. It's actually supposed to go here. Okay, and the reason why that's there apparently is that's going to be like our little pull-up button. And so in this uh, other area, we're going to put uh, the key that comes with the, um, in that other, you know, that not unmarked bag. We're going to put the key in there. We're going to put uh, a, a, a bone too. Uh, kind of like the telltale heart, except it's not a heart. Uh, see, you guys are getting a little bit of culture with this Lego uh, tutorial, see? Okay, so that concludes step 16. And step 17, okay, we're coming in towards the finish. Step 17 is going to connect this part with the gate. Um, and we're doing that by uh, this, uh, the gate has this little part here, and that is going to connect right here. Okay, like so. That concludes step 17. And step 18, the last part, 
We've got some of these uh, two by six flat bark ray pieces, and they are going to cover these these areas here and on the left too. And that concludes folks back two. So this is what it made. Uh, Yeah, right there. And then, of course, it made these two little guys here, too. The little skeleton and the, the crying guy. So, I hope you've enjoyed the, this tutorial. Uh, stay tuned. We've still got more to build on the Rancor Pit.